We are pillars of strength. Be brave, be strong. Nothing can affect us, nothing. And I was the rock, baby. Each and every one of you has the power to live the life that you want to live with whomever you want to live it with. What I like to call live your eulogy. Some people say live your eulogy, well that sounds really depressing, but it's not. It's really live the life that you were meant to live, the life that you want to live. I'll ask my friends, hey John, how you doing? Oh man, Red, the boss is all over me. I'm working all night, I'm pulling all nighters. I'm just hanging in there. Hey, Karen, how you doing? How the kids? Oh, Red, Red, the kids, they kept me up all night. I didn't sleep a wink. I'm just hanging in there. Want to know what I picture when people tell me they're hanging in there? It's it. There's no movement. They're not moving. They're stuck. Would you like to know what I say when people ask me how I'm doing? It's going to be a little more audience participation now. I know you guys are getting the hang of this, right? <laughs> These are four words, four words. Right? Are you guys are going to ask me, Red, how you doing? All right, the count of three, we're all going to say it. Even the people that don't want to, come on, just give it the old college try. Ready? One, two, three. I'm swinging, baby. I am swinging. I am swinging, man, and my life might stick. I might be swinging backwards, right? Lost my job, I got no money. I lost my wife, I got divorced. I got nowhere to live, I got nothing, I'm bankrupt. I am swinging backwards, but picture this. This is a pendulum. The further back I swing, the more I could swing forward. I got a new job, got a new wife, got a new life, and the family is fine. <laughs> I think Billy Joel's at the garden. So, and I'm a realist. Right? Sometimes there are little swings, right? Little swings backwards, little swing forwards. Huge swing backwards, huge swings forward. When people are hanging in there, it's normally not a good place. And yet that's what they're doing. They're hanging in there. Me, I want to move somewhere. Even if it's backwards again, at least there's momentum. I pick swinging all day long. When something happens to you, are you thinking negatively or are you thinking positively? Negative thoughts equal negative actions. Positive thoughts equal positive actions. There is a flip side to every coin. So maybe some of you here today are looking for work. Maybe you're out of work. So you might be thinking, man, I can't pay the rent. I can't put food on the table. How am I going to pay for my kids' education? How am I going to do all this? There's a flip side to that coin as well. The flip side is, what a wonderful opportunity. I am not tied down to that dead-end job anymore. I don't have to go to a job that I hated every single day walking in there. I now have an opportunity to go find a job that I want to do. I have nothing to lose. I don't have a job. Let me go pursue my passion. This is great. Now's the opportunity. Or maybe now's the time to start my own business. Man, I've always wanted to start that business. But you know what? I was tied down to that job. I'm not tied down anymore. There's always a flip side to every coin. On one side of the coin is the pain and the challenge. On the other side of the coin is the growth and the joy. At the count of three, I'm going to ask all of you to yell out, Red, you're ugly. <laughs> All right? I want you to say it like you mean it. I want you to say it like you hate me. Even the people that are thinking, I'm not going to participate. I don't like this stuff, which would be me. Say it anyway. All right? The count of three, you got it? It's like, Red, you're ugly. Those are three words. Ready? You with me? One, two, three. Red, you're ugly. I don't care. 
it makes no difference to me. Why, you may ask. Some of you are thinking, Red, you should care, all right? <laughs> but I don't, because my looks were never a big issue. Yes, I know, I'm not Brad Pitt, I'm not George Clooney, I'm not Bradley Cooper. Then again, I'm not the ugliest duckling in the world. I'm okay, let's just say I'm in the middle. I'm okay with that, so I'm in the middle. So those words don't really resonate with me. So you did not make me feel anything. There's a flip side to that. When I was about 21 or 22, one day I'm looking in the mirror. And as I'm looking in the mirror, I'm thinking to myself, I could see my scalp. <laughs> and I'm thinking, my hairline's starting to recede. Or, let me be politically correct, I became follically challenged. <laughs> but as I got older, and I realized that women love running their fingers through my thick, luxurious scalp, <laughs> it made no difference anymore. The point is, the words were exactly the same. It's how I feel about myself. The only person that can make me feel something is me. That's it. No one can make me feel anything. When I let someone else make me feel something, I become victim to their words. I don't want to be a victim to their words. I want to take ownership back. The only person that can make me feel something is me. And it's normally because I'm insecure about that piece about myself. That's it. I take ownership of it. I take control of it. 